Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about ready to leave the uh, truck stop up here in Suck Center, Minnesota. Yeah. It is 4.45 in the morning right now. So, let's get out of here. It's not really a cold morning this morning, but uh, that's okay. That's the way we like it, right? Spring is in the future, or pretty much starting right now. That's what I would say. But uh, anyways, let's get on down the road here. Let's go home. I got 350 miles to go to get home. So we should be home around lunchtime, I would say. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be very, very nice. I would like it a lot. That way I can spend the. Uh, Turn left and then take the entrance to the left in 950 feet. That way I can spend Sunday afternoon with the wife and kids. Well, I'll probably be playing a little bit of volleyball this afternoon, but... Uh, In 900 feet, take the entrance to the left. After that, uh, Sunday evening, I could spend the time with the family, you know. But... Uh, we are going to play some volleyball this afternoon, that's for sure. And the same thing tomorrow night. I plan on being home tomorrow all day too, so we'll do some running around tomorrow. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. But uh, anyways, we gotta get on to the interstate up here, so uh, I know it's kind of dark out here, so uh, we'll cut the clip for now and then we'll see you guys down the road. Hopefully when it's daylight. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are now just about to leave Minnesota. That's right. Almost looks a little slick here, but I'm not sure if it actually is. But uh, yeah, it looks like they uh, put some treatment on here or something. It looks a little weird here on this bridge. It's wet, but it kind of looks shiny. Yeah, that Legend looks kind of shiny up there on that road. <laughs> I don't know if it actually is slick or not, but I guess we don't want to find out, do we? Not really. But we have now officially entered into North Dakota. That's right, now we are in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, I've been driving for two and a quarter hours. The sun is just slowly starting to rise there behind me. I can see it up there in the mirror. It's really red there at the bottom and trying to come through, you know. But there isn't that many clouds out here today, so it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous sunny day today. I was looking at the weather forecast here earlier this morning. And uh, it was looking like it's going to be a nice couple of days here for the next couple of days. It's supposed to be above freezing every day there for a few days for sure. Or for the next week. Uh, at least in Manitoba, that's what they're talking about. So we're going to see a lot of snow melting, I think, here in the next couple of days. So we're going to have some 
Very wet road. Right to the right on I-29 North, US 81 North. Now hopefully it doesn't freeze too much overnight so that we the roads are not too slippery in the morning. But that's the way it is in springtime. Yeah, we're not gonna make a pit stop here. We don't have no desire to, we don't need to. I was thinking about doing a truck wash here earlier, but then, ah, uh, truck is not really that dirty. I haven't really driven in any salt or anything like that on this whole trip. So we really don't have to wash the truck. We're gonna wait with washing the truck probably towards the end of the month unless we drive in some slush and it looks really dirty here before the end of the month but uh, if not we'll just wait till towards the Peter end of the month to the right on I-29 North US 81 North and towards the end of the month is when we're gonna go towards the truck show yeah I am still planning to be there Hopefully everything will go according to plan and I won't miss it. I think that's going to be a lot of fun being out there, you know. I really do think. I'm hearing more and more and more people that are going to be out there. And I just heard yesterday some of our subscribers are going to be out there too. At least one that I know of. And he's bringing his... Uh, I think I heard him say his grandma and his niece or something like that. They're bringing some family members. So it's going to be an exciting time. That's right. Well, now we are on I-29. At northbound now, officially. Yeah, we got 223 more miles to go and we'll be home. So if we just cruise it right on through, we don't make no pit stops. We should be home around 11 o'clock or just after 11, depending on uh, how the border crossing will go. Alright, so let's see if I can move her over here. There we go. Didn't want to cut that four-wheeler off and I didn't want to slam on the brakes either, you know. But uh, anyways, let's continue on cruising along here. It's an early uh, Sunday morning, very quiet out here in Fargo today, I guess everybody is still at home, not everybody but a lot of people. Alrighty guys, scales, we are now officially back in Canada, yeah, I'm very very happy about that, we only got about another hour and 10 minutes or so, we'll be back at the yard, so that's fantastic news. Road has been a little bit wet here from Fargo up here further north, but other than that, it's just been good going, cruising along. No problem at all whatsoever. Easy crossing the border again today. No hassle over there, so that's fantastic. Yeah. Looking at that bison truck, he's got some kind of different trailer. I've never seen that kind of trailer before, but, uh, but yeah, just a beautiful Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning, I guess. It's still before 10 o'clock yet. Yeah, but it looks like this week we might be seeing almost all of the snow disappear. I think that's what's going to happen. Especially with the temperature being above zero every day, above freezing point, it's supposed to go above uh, a couple of degrees every single day it sounds like. I wouldn't be surprised if the little bit of snow that we got left here will be disappearing here very fast. And yeah, you'll always see a few snow spots somewhere, you know, somewhere in the shade or whatever, but other than that, it will be disappearing very fast, I think. But other than that, we're just going to cruise right along home. Go home and have a day and a half off and then be on the road for two and a half days and be back home again. <laughs> That's what I told dispatcher. I'm only available till Thursday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's when I want to be back, back home again. Yeah, I got some uh, some things that we got to attend 
on Thursday evening and then uh, my buddy Barry there is coming back on Tuesday evening from the Philippines and uh, his wife has uh, finally gotten all their paperwork in order to come over here legally so uh, he's, uh, he went over there to go pick up his wife and uh, and daughter you know so they're uh, coming back on Tuesday evening so we would like to have a welcome party for them guys on uh, either Friday or Saturday so we'll see how that will turn out but uh, I'm very much looking forward to that we'll be barbecuing then I guarantee you that have a nice welcome party for them so with that being said let's get on down home and then we'll possibly see you see me a little bit later possibly yeah alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are done for today we are at home just relaxing a little bit and I know this is actually already Monday when I'm finishing off this video but I figured out I'll do it anyways I don't care I gotta finish this video and get it put together and upload it there for you guys to watch yes that's right and so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of what we did we pretty much didn't do a whole lot other than uh, I went and played a little bit of volleyball here in the afternoon and then uh, my dad had invited us for supper so we went over there and had us a good time with my dad and had some supper and all that and i was going to do a little bit of videotaping up there but then they had some uh, visitors over so i figured well then i ain't gonna do it so uh you know not everybody wants to be on camera right so uh we didn't do any videotaping over there, but we did do a little bit of relaxing and playing volleyball and went back home and had us a good night's sleep. Yeah, that's right. But uh, anyways, we'll close it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and uh, hey, stick around for tomorrow. Tomorrow we do have a very interesting day because I know already everything that's happened today, right? So it's going to be a very interesting day. We're going to be spending a lot of money. Oh yeah. You bet. That was a lot of money we spent today. So stick around for tomorrow to see what happened. Yeah, that'll be an interesting video to watch. I think it will be. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, give me a big fat thumbs up. And we'll see you again tomorrow. If you're not subscribed to us, hey, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button right there in that corner over there. And you will be notified every single day. And if you like the video, somebody else would probably like it as well. So please do me a favor and share this video. Or all of my videos for that matter. Not just one, share every single video that you watch if you liked it. If you don't like it, well... But at the same time, somebody else might like it, even though you might not like it, right? You never know, we're all different. Somebody likes something that you don't like and somebody likes something or somebody doesn't like something that you might like, right? So that's the way the game goes. <laughs> but anyways, enough of that. We'll catch you tomorrow. Stick around right here on Trucker Rudy signing off. <laughs>